Now, we were saying we were going to do a future progression. In other times we've done this, I've done the past life regressions, I've done different things with the groups. I'm going to show you how you can create what you want in your own life. I told you, you were past lives when you were creators. You helped create universes, you helped create planets, you helped create water, you created everything. Look what a powerful being you are. You did these things, but now you're in a human body, you forget the power you have. Remember, it's just a play, you are writing your own script. You can have anything you want. Nothing is impossible. They tell me time and time again through my clients, there are no limitations. No limitations at all, except what you put on yourself. You can have anything you want. Of course, there's only two rules about creating your reality, two no-nos. One of them is you never create anything that will harm any other person. And you never create anything that will take away from another person. You obey those two rules, you can have absolutely anything you want. They said the most important lesson you can learn when you come to Earth, the Earth School, is how to manipulate energy. Remember, everything is energy. The most important lesson you can learn on Earth is how to manipulate energy. So what does that mean? Create. You have to learn how to create before you graduate anyway. <laughs> but we can all do it. That's why we don't realize the power we have. Physical things are the absolute easiest thing to create. Now we found out how this rule works and we use it all the time in our business and everything. And we see miracles all the time. We know how to make it work. We just, now we sit back and watch the magic. And it is magic. I told them a month ago, I want this auditorium full of people. And it's not going against anybody's free will because they're coming and getting a lot of knowledge out of the conference. It's for good. So I say, okay, okay, guys, this is your next project. Do it. They did it, didn't they? I don't doubt them. We just know we put in our order and they fill it. It's their job. It's the universe's job to do anything you want, to give you anything you want. You just don't believe it. You don't realize the power you have. But they said you have to ask. They don't know what you want until you ask. She said it's rather like you go to a hamburger um, a uh, fast food place. Go up to the counter. Say, well, I want a hamburger. Okay. You don't tell them what kind of a hamburger, what do you want on it, or nothing. You just say, I want a hamburger. All right, they'll say, okay, we'll give her. We don't know what they want. We'll just give her a hamburger. You get it, and you say, but I don't like onions. I don't like pickles. You didn't tell us. You put in your order, it's their job to fill it. But if, you, if you're vague about it, of course you're going to get vague ans answers. You have to know exactly what you want before they can fill the order. You see what I mean? So what I want you to do, I imagine most of you here want something, don't you? in your life, job, an object, whatever, don't you? Before you can create what you want, you have to know what it is. And you know how many people that tell me, I don't know what I want. Well, then what do you expect you're gonna get? They're sitting there ready to take down your order. We don't know what they want. 
and I've got numerous examples of how that works. One woman said she wanted a car. She wrote down the make of the car, the year, the color, how much money she wanted to pay. She put in her order down to the last detail. She got her car. Only one thing wrong, it wouldn't run. Left out a little detail. I want a car that runs good too. See what I mean? You've got to know exactly what you want down to the last detail. Then they'll fill it. Otherwise, it's vague. Another woman wanted a man in her life, and she puts in this order of um, all the qualities about him, what she wanted him to look like, personality, everything. And you send it out. She met the man... Only thing wrong was he was married. Forgot one detail. So, okay, so she figured up the order again. This time she made that part of the requirements. I want him to be single. So she got this other man came into her life who filled all of the qualifications. The problem was he was 10 years younger than her. But she said, I can live with that. I don't think I need you to write this down, but I want you to think about it. What is it you want in your life? You can write it down if you want to, but write it down in detail. So that if you were to visualize it, you could see it, you could hear it, maybe even smell it. The more detail you can put in to the mental picture of what you want to create, the more easy it is for them to know what you want. You see what I mean? I told you it took me nine years to find my first publisher because I was way ahead of my time. But all that time, I kept visualizing my books in the bookstore. I saw them on the shelf. I saw people coming in and picking them up. I heard them talking. You've got to have detail in the mental picture. I filled all of this detail into it. Well, then one day, my daughter went into a bookstore, and she was just looking at the books, and she saw three books sitting on the shelf. And she just absentmindedly said, Oh, those are Mama's books. And then she went on looking at the other books and then she realized what she had said because they weren't published yet. And she looked back at that shelf and there was nothing there. You see how the law works? They were not taking away from anything. There was nothing on the shelf. Of course, now they're in bookstores all over the world. It happened. I had one man said he went into a bookstore after my first book was published and see the first ones were the three volumes of Nostradamus, so there were three books. The first book was published. This man wrote me, he went into the store and he saw volume one and volume two. We picked them both up and walked up to the cash register. He was gonna pay for them and he said, I think I'll wait and get volume two later. So he took it back, so he only got the one. When he went back to the store, later decided to get volume two, they didn't have it. And he, he, he did was writing letters and he wrote me and said, what happened? Did the government pull it off the shelves or what? I said, no, it hasn't been published yet. Now he was handling something that hadn't even existed yet. What would have happened if he would have taken that home? Would it have disappeared? Somebody else said he might have got home and found out it was a different book altogether. We don't know. But you see, when it's coming into reality, all of these strange and weird things happen. And my daughter was a nurse in, in intensive care and uh, cardiac units for 20 years. But when she was in nursing school, she just thought, it's horrible. I'm never going to get this. I'm never going to finish nursing school. And she was very depressed. So I told her, see it as already done. 
That's the key. See, it's done. It's happened. See, it is already done. You're doing what a nurse does. You're walking down the corridors in the nurse's uniform. You're taking care of the patients. You're living it. It's done. And so she began to visualize that. And it happened. Because if you can see it in your mind, visualize it, it must happen. That's a law of the universe. You learn to work with these laws of the universe and everything becomes very easy for you. The law of the universe, if you can see it, it must happen. They have to fulfill your order. So I want you to think about what it is you want. But be specific. See it as already done, already accomplished. Don't worry about how it's going to happen. Some people say, well, I got to do this and this and this to make it happen. Uh Uh-uh. Then you're limiting them. To saying that's the only way it can happen. See it as already done, already accomplished. They fill in the blanks. We have this happen all the time. They will make it happen in ways that you would never, ever imagine. If you say, I've got to do this and this and this, you're limiting to them as the only possible way it can happen. You see where I'm getting at? Just say, this is what I want. And you give an exact picture of what it is. Release it to them. Then we just say, we just sit back and watch the magic. Because it happens, and it happens very fast now, the way time is going. So don't worry about how it's going to happen. It will happen in a way that you would never, ever in a million years figure it's going to happen. And I could go with countless stories of what we're doing with our company, our business, and how they are constantly fulfilling what we want. All we have to say, here's the next the next project, guys. Do it. And you release it. It's a lot easier. You don't have to sit around and worry about it. You know they're taking care of it. You think you can believe this way? That's how you do it. You can write down your project if you want, but we're going to do an exercise, take you just a few years into the future and see what you're doing at that time. If you've accomplished whatever it was you were going to accomplish or whatever it was you were going to do. I don't know if you're looking for be married or if you're looking for a job, an object, money, whatever it is. Those are the easiest things anyway. But um, whatever it is you want to accomplish. Can you think you've got it in your head now what it is you want? It's the only way it's going to happen. In detail. Okay, now we're going to take a trip into the future, just a few years, and we're going to see what you're doing at that time, if anything has changed for you, and you are able to get whatever it is that you want. That's why I wanted you to know first what it is you want. How can you create something if you have no idea what you want? Okay, you got it now? Okay. Okay. Now, we go into the future, you're going to have a choice. You can go one year, three years, or five years and see what's there. Just go with it. Just relax and just see what comes out. Have fun with it. If you don't see anything, that doesn't mean you're not going to be here. It just means you're not quite ready to see what it is yet. Or maybe you don't believe it enough or you're not relaxed in allowing the pictures to come in. Let's just do this and see what happened. We did it in L.A. with D. and oh, the people got remarkable things that they saw. So I just want you to relax. Close your eyes. And I want you to think about what it is you want to create. 
you see it as already accomplished, it's already done, you see it in detail. And now we're going into the future and see what the results are. So I want you to see yourself at the bottom of a long, tall staircase. It has big, wide, marble steps. Walk up the steps toward the top level. We're walking up the steps of the big, wide, marble staircase. And we come to a platform at the top of the steps. At the top of the platform, there are three doors. There's numbers on these doors. The one to your left has a one on it. This means one year into the future. The door directly in front of you has a three on it, which means three years into the future. The one to the right has a five on it, five years into the future. Choose the door you want to open. Open that door. As you open the door, you'll see a dense fog in front of you. I want you to move through that fog. As you walk through the fog, it will begin to dissipate and fade until you're able to come out on the other side of the fog. Look around you and see where you are. This will be your surroundings in the year that you picked. Where are you? What does it look like? Trust it, see it in detail. Now see yourself doing whatever it is you will be doing at that time. What is your job? What is your occupation? See yourself doing it. Now switch scenes and see where you are living. What kind of a place does that look like? Where are you living? See it in detail. Is anyone living there with you? If there are, see them and you'll recognize them. Now leave that scene and we're going to move forward to an important day in this future time. An important day when something is happening that you consider to be important. We're there now. What's happening? What do you see? All right. Now we can leave that scene and bring your focus back into this room, remembering what you have seen so you'll be able to write it down. Coming back into this room, into this body, into this room, and you're aware there's other people sitting around you. You're beginning to wake up now and you can open your eyes and remember what you have seen. We're back here now 
open your eyes and look around. Okay. At least this is something I do want you to write down what you saw. Did many of you see something you were not expecting? Did you see yourself in a different kind of a job, different kind of a house? Think about whatever it was and write it down. Because remember, if you can visualize it like this, it must happen. This is how easy the law of the universe works. No matter how crazy it seemed, trust it. Write it down. And do this when you can do it when you're going to sleep at night. Think about what it is you want to create. See it in detail. As already accomplished. And it must happen. <laughs>